All right, so we get into the verse, and that's an F chord for a really long time. Four measures, I believe. We'll talk about the strum in a minute. And then A7. That leads to D minor. All kinds of little things you could do to D minor right there if you wanted to fancy it up, but let's just stick with D minor for now. And then F7, which you may not know, we'll talk about it. That leads to B flat. And then C7. Now a quick change of F, A7, D minor, D7, and that leads to G7 for a long time, four bars I believe. stop on C7 like this. We'll talk about all those rhythms as we go. That's basically the whole song. There's going to be another verse after that using pretty similar chords. I'll talk about one chord in um, that, that part of the song, uh, that final verse, um, and that is an E flat 9 chord. You do that like this. You do 0, 1, 1, 1. That's a bar of three strings. In other songs, they might call that B flat minor six, and we'll talk about that later. Why some chords have multiple names? Maybe I even did a video on that that you can check out. But yeah, ninth chords and minor six chords and minor seven flat five chords, all three of those chords sometimes share the same notes. This chord could be called three different names, but today we're calling it E flat nine. That's how it functions in this song. It's the flat seven um, seven chord or flat seven nine chord in this case. What does that mean? We're not going to talk about that today. Just trust me that this is a chord that is oftentimes used in a, um, pop music and it, it has an explanation to it. So not getting into the theory, just know that it's a 0111 chord, a bar. And today we're calling it E flat 9. Well that's all the chords you need. Let's check out how to strum them. Uh, I said it has a triplet feel. I said it has a 12-8 feel. Uh, early rock music, early R&B. Uh, pop music that oftentimes had that 12 feel, like I mentioned, uh, Fats Domino, Chuck Berry, etc. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're not going to count like that. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And how do I strum that? I'm doing all down. I'm taking my triplets and I'm going triple all the strings all the time. I'm not uh, doing any kind of separating of the strings. I'm hitting them all. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, like that. You can accent though. It's uh, definitely desirable to accent in a song like this and to give it a nice beat. The song does have drums and it does have a fairly prominent beat. So accent, 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 accent. You're accenting the downbeat. One, two, three, Four. And that's a very common accent pattern in slow ballad music like this, love songs and slower, gentler songs. Um, whereas in faster rock and roll songs, we would accent the backbeat, the two and the four. In this, we're not. We're accenting the downbeats. That really strengthens that triplet feel. All right, so what else do you need to know about this song? I'd say the last thing we should talk about is it does have secondary dominant chords in it. It has some chords that are outside of the key of F. One of those, the uh, right off the bat, the second chord in the verse is an A7 chord. It's not in the key of F, but it's used uh, to lead into the D minor chord. A7 is the five chord of D minor. D minor is in the key of F. Now, if that's too complicated, if that's too much theory for you about it's the five of D minor and all of that. Don't worry, we won't uh, we won't pursue that too much. But for those of you that do know a little bit about music theory, you'll recognize many secondary dominants used in this song. It has uh, has them sprinkled throughout the song. Uh, good songwriting, really good um, use of chords. And I suspect that the guy that wrote it probably was a piano player, but uh, I could be wrong about that. Might have been a guitarist. But uh, this is very typical of uh, the kind of chord progression you would come up on. Uh, a piano with. So that's my own theory. I'll, I'll research that and find out if Buck Ram wrote this on piano or guitar, but I suspect piano. All right, so that's about all the tune uh, that there is to talk about. Let's play it. Let's play 
um, the intro. Let's play the verse, and then let's play that final verse that has that crazy E flat nine chord in it. So here we go. I'll count you off. One, two, three, four. have it ukulele people a great old song from 1954 way way back into the mists of time even before I was born that's how old it is I will make a song sheet available so that you can look at the lyrics and the chords I will provide a link to the platters uh, singing it on YouTube so you can check out the song and for my patrons I will actually make some chord diagrams and give you a clue as to some of these uh, secondary dominant chords and that E flat 9 chord and I'll help you out and uh, teach you a new chord or two all right, Merry Christmas to all of you. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Be sure to click the notify bell, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.